example where like uh, like you shouldn't just shut down people's ideas, right? Because it works. See, because you have this idea, you can do it algebraically, right? So uh, you either know it works by trying it and it works, or you know it doesn't work by trying it and it didn't work. Okay. And I think at this age, it's better not to presume that it won't work. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because look, you said A could be that number, right? And then it does give you an easy sequence of terms, okay? And right? All you have to work and the, out pa the what pattern is, is that it, the coefficient always increases by 1, and this number decreases by 5, 7, 9, all, you need all to the odd out, numbers, okay, right? Bias, which is the middle, obviously the middle term. But anyway, so it's an easy pattern, okay? And by the time you get to 12, it'll be. Um, 11a minus 120, so right? So if, if 11a minus 120 is the 12th term, it has to equal 12, right? Because we know the last term is 12. So if 11a minus 120 is 12, then a has to be 12, okay? That, that, so that's like a, that's a proof, actually, as well, okay? Because that's, it's not this creative thinking, this is actual proof. Uh, creative thinking is not defined like that, but like yeah, this is a, this is a proof. Okay, I mean it could have been creative thinking to get to this as well, right? Okay, so you came up with something that now proves it. Okay, so this is definitely something that we that we want to encourage. Okay, so you know, like solving the question in the time condition, you know, is good. Um, this you know, but, but proving it untimed is also something we're going to work our way up towards. Okay. And so this, if you set it to A, proves that this term has to be 12, okay? And then 37, I think it's a unique solution, I think. That's, that's what it's saying. It is a unique solution. Okay? All right, very good. I'm going to do 